Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the 78 inch Extra NG from Extreme Flight. Before I get into the content, I want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by KST. KST sent me the X20 4208s and the 3005s that I used on this airplane. So I've got the 4208s for the rudder and aileron. So two servos for the elevator, one on each side. For the power setup, I'm using a Zor 22x10, that's black with silver tips. I've got a Sunny Sky 40cc motor paired to a Hobbywing 130 amp FlyFun Opto ESC. The power comes from two 6L 5000s in series. So those are 12S connected in series. And then for the electronics, I've got a 2S set 2200 powering the Extreme Flight Power Expander, the Express LRS Maytec R24D with a CRSF to S-Bus converter, and that goes into the Power Expander X10 Plus. I'd say for the overall build, just like all the other Extreme Flight planes, everything went together pretty well. One of the hardest jobs on the whole thing was getting the servos lined up in the elevator slot and getting them seated. I had to do a little bit of filing work and a little bit of Dremel work just to kind of open it up enough to get the servos to pop in there, but that was it. Other than that, it's a very complete kit. I really like how the cowl mounts on this airframe, so you don't even have to align it. It's all done for you. You just basically screw it on. You've got a screw here, screw there. It screws the cowl on. There's one from the bottom and that's it. Very easy to assemble this plane. This plane also has the new quick release mechanisms. Remember these have the little indicator that prevent you from putting the canopy on if that indicator isn't all the way down and latched. So nice mechanism. I do appreciate that feature. Dave also pointed out that they fixed up the geometry on the elevator linkage. So notice that that arm is now 90 degrees and the control rod goes straight back to the horn. So the other models where we've seen the control linkage at an odd angle, that's been cleaned up on the extra NG. One other thing I wanna mention is the carbon fiber spinner up front. This came from Extreme Flight. It is 65 bucks, three and a half inches, but it's paint matched, works with the scheme. And they are very well made, I'll give them that. They're very well balanced and straight. So you do pay a little bit extra for those spinners, but it's kind of worth it. Finally, when it comes to CG, they give you a pretty good range. I think it's about 145 to 165 millimeters. I've got it split right down the middle. I've got it right on the spar tube, and that's where I've got it balanced to start. That wraps up the build recap. Let's get her up in the air for the maiden. I'm gonna do one last control systems check. I expect the elevator to come up, and it does. I expect the elevator to go down, and it does. I expect the rudder to come left, and it does. I expect it to go right, there it is. And now I expect the left aileron to come up, and it does. And I expect the right aileron to come up, and it does. So control system check is good. That's it, time to fly. Okay, so that was about four clicks of up, and that's a couple too many. And I had a couple clicks of right. Okay, I feel like that's flying pretty straight. Now let's get it inverted, and we'll do the upline test to see how the balance is working out. So there's inverted, and yeah, pretty gradual drop. That actually felt really nice. Very gradual. So it tells me the balance is decent where it is. Do the yaw test real fast, so straight up in the air. Kill the power and see which way it drops. And yeah, pretty much straight down. All right, next thing I wanna do is a stall. So I'm gonna turn into the wind for the stall. I'm gonna bring it around. The idea behind the stall is just to get an idea of longitudinal balance and slow speed handling. So we wanna get a look at what it takes for this airplane to let go. So here comes the stall. I'm low on power. I'm gonna enter a slight 40 degree upline, bring the power back, hold the elevator. And, oh, that was nice. Real easy. Straight down, looks like the longitudinal balance is good. Now I'm gonna do a loop. I like to do loops because that tells me about the empennage. Let's me know that my elevator distance from the leading edge of the elevator is equidistant to both of the main wings. 
So I like to do a loop just to get an idea of how well it tracks going in and out of the loop. Oh yeah, you can't get any better than that. Perfectly straight, okay? So knife edge. I'm gonna do a couple of knife edge runs because I've learned over time that the knife edge kind of gives you a pretty good idea too on what's going on with coupling and balance. And boy, that's straight. Yeah, that's spectacular. Yeah, that is straight as an arrow, man. I wasn't steering that at all. Okay, uh, let's do the inverted flat spin. I like that. Nice. Look at that. Yep. Wow, really nice. Wow. Dave, you're going to like that, man. Yeah, that's that's neat. <laughs> that was straight and flat. Yeah. I like this airplane. It is beautiful. Well, that wasn't a very good crankshaft, but it was my first time and it was kind of far away. So we'll just let it go that I made the effort. I <laughs> hope you guys can forgive the weak effort, but it is a maiden. I really shouldn't be doing that. All right, let's uh, flip it into low rates. We'll bring it around. I want to set it up and do a couple of approaches and see how she handles coming in for a landing. Nice. All right, one more. I was a little concerned about the gray and how visible it would be in the sky, but it's got, it's kind of like a warbird gray with some sheen. So it looks pretty good to me, actually. It's not hard to see it. Nice. You know, you realize you made both landings on the same wheel. I did. I was trying to one. I was trying to do a one-wheel touchdown. Yeah, that's it. But boy, did it feel good. Nice plane. It looks beautiful. That wraps up my build recap and maiden flight of the 78 inch Extreme Flight Extra NG. I guess for flight purposes, I don't really have any complaints, man. The plane outflies me. The plane flies fantastic in a sport mode. It felt so stable and easy to fly. And whatever maneuver I tried, no problem. And it was, you know, like that inverted flat spin was about as flat as I've ever seen it. The knife edges were completely couple free. I had, I had no effort steering the plane whatsoever. The only thing I had to do is manage my altitude. And uh, the landings, yeah, they were a little bit hot, but I think that has to do with the fact that I balanced it with some 5,000s instead of 4,000s. I might try some lower weight batteries and just push them up a little further and see if I can get it to balance that way with some lighter weight. Overall, you just can't complain about this airframe's performance in the sky. It was just beautiful. I like it a lot. I'd like to say thanks to KST for sponsoring this video by providing the X20 4208s and the 3005s that I used in this build. And I want to remind you guys, regardless of the fact that I am sponsored by KST, when I need servos for my own use, I go buy KST first when I can. I just like their servos. They center well. They're strong. They look good. They just always work. So check out KST. Link is in the description for the servos I used in this build. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the bell. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy.